In this video, we'll try to understand how to find out the beam reactions in case of simply supported beam carrying an eccentric load. Now the loading is as shown over here. So it is subjected to the point load as well as the eccentric load. The point load of 20 kN it is acting at a distance of 2 meter from the left hand support and there is an eccentric load of 10 kN. Now we have to convert this particular eccentric load into a point load and this particular eccentric load will also produce the moment. So the effect of this eccentric load is nothing but what it will create the point load of 10 kN acting at point D and 10 multiplied by 0.5 so arrow this particular arrow of 10 kN will go in the clockwise direction towards point D so it is 10 into 0 0.5 that will be the moment that will be created so the effect of this eccentric load is to create direct load as well as the clockwise moment at point D so first we have indicated this particular 10 kN and then the clockwise moment of 10 into 0.5 that is 5 kN meter Now we'll apply the conditions of equilibrium. The first condition of equilibrium is summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero. Upward force we have considered as positive, whereas downward forces they are considered as negative. So RA and RB, these are the reactions at the supports A and B. They are acting in the upward direction. 20 kN load, it is acting in the downward direction. This 10 kN load, it is also acting in the downward direction and that is equal to zero. So we can say that RA plus RB minus 30 is equal to 0 or RA plus RB is equal to 30 kN. Now that is our equation 1. Now applying the another condition of equilibrium that is summation of moments is equal to 0 clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative. Now we will take moment about point A. So start with this RB. The arrow of this RB will be going in the anti-clockwise direction towards A. So it is minus RB and from B up to A the perpendicular distance is 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 6. Now there is all there is already a moment of clockwise moment of 5 kN meter acting because of the eccentric load so that we have added over here. Then this 20 kN it will also produce it will produce the clockwise moment so it is 20 and from C to A the perpendicular distance is 2 meter. Then this 10 kN it will also produce the clockwise moment so 10 into perpendicular distance from D to A it is 2 plus 2 that is 4 so it is minus RB into 6 plus 5 plus 20 into 2 plus 10 into 4 so 20 into 2 that is 40 10 into 4 that is 40 plus 5 so it is 85 and transfer this minus RB into 6 on the other side it will become positive value RB into 6 so 85 divided by 6 will be the value of RB so that is equal to 14.167 kilonewton now we can substitute this value of RB in equation 1. So from equation 1, we can say that RA is nothing but 30 minus RB. Now substitute the value of RB. So it is 30 minus 14.167. So the value is 15.833 kN. So in this way, we can find out the beam reaction in case of simply supported beam carrying an eccentric load. Thank you very much for watching.